Hey guys, tons of fun here with another OnkBot tutorial video. This time we're going to talk about the parameter read API. Now this particular parameter can be used to create all sorts of interesting commands. Some of the commands I've used this parameter for are to call forth my last tweet, my most recent YouTube video, as well as users are able to see how long they've been following me or how long they've had their Twitch account. Because OnkBot doesn't do any custom filtering and just simply spits out the text it receives from the API. So for a lot of APIs, you might need to write your own wrapper, whether it's in PHP, Python, JavaScript, whatever it may be. As long as it's web accessible, you can use it in the read API command. Let me show you how it's done. So we're going to start this off by taking a look at the OnkBot documentation. Inside, you'll find information about all the parameters, and in particular, the read API parameter. So you see here, the description says, displays the text on the URL's page, max 255 characters. That's important to keep in mind. Gives an example and shows an example response. So in the example provided here, we see that they're using the command to call the page on nightdev.com, which accesses the Twitch API to feed it a channel and a number, and it spits back that many of the latest followers for that channel. So here we have a list of useful API URLs. I'll include the link below. Now these include all sorts of things, such as returning how long the account has existed, returns the game and viewer account, returns whether or not a user is following the channel, returns an eight ball response, and even less specific responses like returning a random user or a random subscriber. So let's look at how to take all this information and actually implement it into OnkBot and create a command. Up first, I've created a last tweet command with the permissions, no cooldowns, and it's enabled. Now in the response box, you can put anything you want before it or after it. The important part is that you have the dollar sign, read API, open parentheses, the URL of the API, along with replacing any relevant variables in that URL with, for instance, your name, and then closing it out. Let's take a look at what it looks like when you actually use this command. Here you can see I put in the command, and FunBot responds with tons of fun's last tweet. Testing at Discord app, definitely an interesting voice chat app. Looking forward to see what they do with their API and bots. And if you look at my Twitter, that's exactly the last thing I tweeted out. You can also use read API and these other parameters in timers. Here I've implemented a timer that will spit out my latest YouTube video. So once again, the important part being dollar sign read API, the URL of the API, along with replacing relevant variables with your name, closing the parentheses, and that's all you need. You've got the full timer right there. To really drive home all you can do with the read API parameter, I wanted to show you guys one last command. This command is called created and allows users to see how long that their account has existed on Twitch. Here it gets a little bit more complicated because now we're using other parameters along with read API. So at the beginning of the response you see dollar sign user, which will be replaced with the user's name of whoever uses the command. In the same vein, you see in the API URL we also use dollar sign user, which will be replaced with the user's name and fed into the API. This allows you to use APIs where you're actually expecting responses back for the user who uses the command rather than something for you. Let your imagination run wild.